Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to episode 76 of Let's Build Minecraft. Now, the last episode, you guys were super helpful. I uh, got lots of comments on some things that could improve the area and whatnot. Uh, number one is uh, these little patches of grass with uh, grass on top of the grass. You know, part of me was like, well, we're in a desert. It would get covered by sand, but... Uh, maybe it kind of just looks like weeds growing through the sand. So I like it. Uh, someone else said uh, if the wind or the if the sand is blowing this way and is piling up against stuff in this direction, why do I have my door facing that direction where all this all the sand would get into their tent? You're right. Maybe that's why there's so much sand on my floor. Um, uh, I'll probably, that's, that's a very good point. Um, I'll probably keep that in mind for the future. I actually really want that door facing this way for the sake of immersion, um, or for the sake of setting the feeling, because this is the entrance you walk in this way. Um, and I want to be able to see that door. My other option would be to move it on this side, really. Um, I tried putting a banner over the door, but then you can't really click the actual door itself if you do that. Um, you have to like aim way up here and it's awkward. So like you you could if you want to put a banner over it and it look like a curtain and maybe that would protect it from sand. Um, what else did I do? I added another little, uh, you know, buried house here. I think I'll do a tower soon. That could look really cool. Um, Having things that are varying heights poking out of the sand. So we could have something that's actually poking out of the sand in good ways. Here's just a wall. I figured maybe it's a wall that that exists from this gate. Um, but who knows? It's buried. We'll never know. Uh, this. This is a thing that I've done. Ha ha. Let's go down. Uh, our tents are made out of wool. And I don't want to go all the way back to my other places to get wool so i made a very small little uh, sheep place down here i already got sick of how annoying they were so i turned the noises down that's why you don't hear anything but i just pretty much uh go in here and um uh shear away and i got i got lots of colors down here i, pr I probably could use more um i'm actually gonna grab a few right now um, I kind of want to use red. Oh man, I wish I had orange. I don't though. The uh, the thought behind this is that we want to try to stick to similar colors so the green and the cyan are close on a uh, color wheel. I um, feel like reds and purples would be too bright. I wonder if yellow and purple yellow and lime green maybe we could probably make that work and get some different colors in the meantime uh, I definitely want orange orange would go really well with all the yellow in the desert and then to get out I just um, hooked up a little thing there's a repeater down there with a three tick delay I run over it and it pops me up that doesn't work every time um every now and then i don't know if it's because i'm coming up from stairs because it didn't stop working until i added the stairs but every now and then it doesn't want to work perfectly but pretty simple design there's a couple things i want to build in today's episode the first one is a tent uh really we can just fly through these things and just build tent after tent um, but I want to come up with different designs of tents so that we have, uh, you know, so that they're not all the same, so that there's something different to look at. Um, and that's what I'm going to try to do right here. Uh, so let's put down, oh, we can make it that wide, I suppose. And do I have dirt on me? I have sand. There's some dirt. And this is going to be more like your traditional tent. Um... Let's go up another one. I've built tents in this shape before, so the shape itself isn't new. I'm going to have to switch. Uh, well, the idea is that these are going to be alternating colors, so um, we don't really have enough 
to do it like that. Let's save some yellow and put in some green now. That's really bright, <laughs> but I think it'll be okay. Um, so we're going to put in the stakes in the corners. I think that's going to pretty much be a common theme throughout the uh, tents. And then get all this yellow. And then I don't want this to be open on the side here. So we're going to find something a little unique to do there. So this is a really small tent. Um, like not even livable. <laughs> Hardly. You could basically walk in here, have your bed, and then your chest tucked in uh, these little corners. So I guess you could make it work. Oh no, do I really not have enough? Um, let's put some sand right there and... Oh, get the axe out. And even this house is not safe from a little bit of sand getting in, I guess. Let's put that there. Sand. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. Um, okay, here's what I wanted to do with this one. I wanted to make walls out of trap doors. Um, I guess like this? I had to get a little tricky with that one because we're going to put a bed in there. Bam, right there. We're going to put a... Can we not put... Oh, the... I know why we can't put that there. You don't have to tell me. I know why. Yeah, that's a, you know, like, we could put a crafting table. I don't have any wood. We can't put a crafting table there. Okay, uh, I like that, though. You know, we could get, like, carpet and put in there. I set that little wall back in um, on the back side of that block. The colors are kind of ugly, to be honest, but it's all right. Um, let's bring these up, and we can even make these really high. Because... I want them sticking up in the air, uh, not just clinging to the side of it. You know what would go really well on the outskirts of this town? A sand golem. That's right. If you guys remember, I built a snow golem a while... A stone golem. Did I say snow? A stone golem a while back. And ever since then, I've kind of wanted to make different variations of it, like a snow golem or a sandstone golem in this case. Um, and this is our chance to do it. So let's do it on camera, actually, because last time I don't believe I did on camera... I don't like these little little areas where it just dips in. Just fill that in. Just doesn't look like natural generation to me. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just being stupid though. Uh, so first thing, um, I want a center line. So it is going to be um, uh, five spaces in between the legs. Uh, this is the skeleton of the legs. Um, I want to give it life. So one leg is further than the other. Um, this one could maybe even go, this, this whole thing is a whole lot of, uh, step back and look at what you have. Yeah, that looks more like a leg would look. And then from here, um, I build a spine and it's really how you'd think it would be, but, uh, a lot more curve than like a human spine. Um, unless you have scoliosis, which is fine. <laughs> I actually have a curve in my back, but um, nothing like scoliosis or anything, thankfully, yet. Uh, knock on wood. My grandma had scoliosis. Well, so does this uh, sandstone guy. Um, trying to think how high we're going to bring it. So, <clears throat> these guys really emulate like a turtle uh, shell on, uh, on their back. Um... Again, we're going to have to step back, take a look at everything, because it's really hard to get a, a, a good idea of what you're building without stepping back on this project. So that's pretty good. Now, his face is basically just going to hang from that uh, right from here. So let's go back up. The face, we're probably going to keep the same from how it was before. So let's do this now i'm not sure do i want to have the face right there or do i want to bring it down one more let's actually just put it right there ah can you stop doing that 
All right, so just like before, um, I do have a picture of this guy pulled up next to me. So those are his eyes. Uh, let's get some slabs. And right there. So there, there's his mouth, his eyes. We're going to go up a little bit more. Give him a rounded face with stairs. And then that should be it as far as the face. And then once we do the arms, we'll have the full skeleton for him. And then we just fill him in. Just like, um, it's like reverse sculpting. Like, you know, when they say you have, um, when you're sculpting, you... The, the sculpture is in there. You just have to chip away everything that's not it, right? Basically, what I'm doing is I'm adding meat to the bones um, little by little until, you know, until it looks like he's all there. Now that I have the bones, I just have to add the meat. And actually, staying back and looking at it, um, I don't like how narrow his shoulders are. He looks like he's got puny little shoulders for such a big guy. So I'm going to go up there. And I'm just going to raise this block up one. That one can be down because his arm is lower on that one. Um, you don't want this to be symmetrical. If you make it symmetrical, like who stands with symmetry? Nobody stands uh, with their with their hands up in the air and their feet um, at the exact same. Like, like nobody stands like that, especially when they're moving. Um, which is the idea that this guy kind of looks like he's in motion, um, lifelike. Uh, but I had a few ideas when I created this guy, or when I when I was trying to run some ideas for this guy, um, of how exactly he would look. So my first idea was that instead of legs, he would just have sand. So I, he like he, it was like a skirt of sand, and and you didn't see his legs or whatever. Because it was just flowing sand nonstop. <laughs> that, I had a hard time, maybe it could probably be done, but I had a hard time um, portraying that while I was testing. Um, it just kind of looked lazy. It just kind of looked like a, a pile of sand to me. Um, even if you mix in sandstone, I didn't really like the way it was going. So this guy's going to be a really similar design to the original Gollum. Now, things that we have to keep in mind, sand falls, so uh, kind of hard to build with um, as far as in the air, which this guy is, but we're going to give him some pretty bulky legs, like because uh, like, like, he's a big bulky guy, he's got to have legs to carry the, this big fat body of his. <laughs> um, and then we got to give him some meat into his torso, so... First thing that I want to do is look at his legs. Now we do need to add some sort of something, in my opinion. I wonder if stairs would be overkill. Probably not. I don't want to add stuff where there shouldn't be stuff. Um, that actually looks alright, but this right here looks super skinny. Like It looks like this... Well, it's just the skeleton that's there, really. So, uh, part of me wants to take this, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, where did that go? Did that go here? That one here. Um, part of me wants to take that stairs, move it down one, put that there, and then I believe we had sand on top of that. Wait, where did that go? Yeah, sand on top of this. And then that gives us a pretty bulky leg. Um, now this is all like one flat texture. We can change this to sand. And I prefer that. And we have half slabs at our disposal. So we can do stuff like this if we want. Or this. I actually would prefer this. And not having that a half slab. Just because... Of the way it looked to me and then we're basically going to do that exact same thing over here now as far as the arms go i'm probably not going to touch them a whole lot i might add a block here maybe a block here 
in the shoulder regions, buff up the shoulders a little bit. But his arms, I feel like they're plenty okay being fairly skinny. If you add a lot of meat to those arms, it's going to take away um, a lot of form from them. So the next thing that we really need to look at is the torso. And this is a little bit tricky. Now, I know that I want this filled in, so let's just go ahead and fill it in. I'm pretty certain that I want this filled in. Now, this, let's cover that mouth. This, I kind of like, um, somebody made the comparison in his live stream that these looked like, I don't know the names of these, so nerds out there, uh, forgive me. The uh, Star Wars drones, I think they were drones that are have like those round backs. Somebody said that the, f the form of the these guys look a lot like that, and that's pretty true. Now the inside of this is going to have an arched form as well. In fact, I'm going to knock this down. I'm going to put... Stay, actually, let's put a full block there, fill in my sand, and then we're going to knock this out. So we've got that inner little, like his belt, his belly is like hunched over. Um, that's kind of the idea that we're going for. Step back and look at it. And I like that. Now we basically just have to add um, onto his torso on the sides. So I just put up what I believe could be the final product and I tore down all the scaffolding so I can get an un unobstructed view. I'm going to turn around and and I still don't like some of it. <laughs> now most of it is pretty good. I like the back. It's the stomach that I don't like by the way. Um, stomach is way too flat. This guy is taller than the last one I built, I think. The last one, his belly wasn't showing this much. Now, I want this right there because his pelvis is so flat. <laughs> um, I feel like something's got to happen right here and right here. It's just like way too rectangular of a body i feel like i feel like he's just missing stuff like we just gotta add more meat in there but maybe also narrow his belly um but this oh that's bad <laughs> no see this is the annoying part of working with oh no um oh i guess i can do this and it'll be fine but, so do I have more sandstone on me? This stuff is so expensive, like four sand for one sandstone. Um, let's take this away. I did it again. I did it again, again. See, now this is the annoying part of working with these blocks. I have a lot of smooth sandstone. Let's just use that. Um, take this away. Okay, I see how this is going to be. I see how this is going to be. And then sandstone. I feel like this could go there. Th this is so flat. This Maybe something like this? No. Okay, let's step back. We've made quite a few changes. It's so awkward. Like... Like, you can't pull up reference pictures of anatomy for this thing in particular. So, okay, first of all, this leg right here is it's one big flat surface. I don't like that at all. This got to go and got to be moved back at least. Um, there's a half slab there. So let's go like that. This I also want to be like this, I believe. And already that looks so much better to me. Um, I think I want to put that there. And 
Maybe this would look better if I just added one of these deals. You know, I feel like I could have avoided some of this if I had moved the head down one block. Because it would cover this ugly stomach. <laughs> um, and then I'm also debating if I want to add grass on top. Because we did that with the stone golem and it looked really good. But this guy, like, would he have grass on top of him? Uh, I'm going to play around with some things. And there he is. I added grass to the back of him. He looks kind of odd from this angle. I think there's a block that I could change on that left side. That one. Well, you can't see the cross here. Bah! That one. I think that one needs to go. But other than that, he looks pretty good. Uh, I wasn't sure if grass would make sense for a guy like this. But in the end, he really needs something other than sand. Otherwise, it's just too boring um take your pick you could maybe get away with red sandstone i chose not to because i don't have any red sandstone in this biome and our you know colors really anywhere um doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have it for us um maybe you could you could get away with birch uh mixing in with this guy um I don't know. You could you could mess around with yellow clay, probably maybe even white clay. Uh, I bet that could look really cool, actually. Um, but I'm pretty happy with them. He's he's pretty identical to the previous one. None of them are gonna be the same because of the way that I build them, though. Um, let's just add a little something here. That's a pretty bulky foot. But that's all right. I mean, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm pretty happy with this guy. I might make some changes to him. Take some time. A lot of times when you're not entirely happy with something, step away from it. Come back to it tomorrow. You're going to say, what was I thinking with with this? Uh, why did I do that? Um, and then, you know, you'll... You, you just give yourself some time. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I might grow to like it more. I might decide, hey, maybe we should cl try that clay thing. But who knows? Anyways, uh, yeah, we got we got some work to do in the village itself next episode, I think. Get some more, more houses and stuff. You know, this project isn't a huge project. We can get this done pretty soon. I like this little tent, though. So cool. Anyways, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And thank you for staying this long, if you've made it this long. I'll see you next episode. Bye!